Well, the judge released Smith from custody until his trial. No court date has been set. He also had to surrender a firearm. He faces 15 charges. If convicted, some serious jail time. I feel for the school. I feel for the team. I feel for the community. I feel for the young men and young ladies that looked up to this man. Dunbar High School neighbors are hurt, disappointed and sad to learn about the federal charges against football coach and school police detective Lawrence Smith. And he can't be trusted no more. What's left for the kids? A federal indictment alleges Smith fraudulently obtained more than $215,000 in overtime pay. Investigators also charge that he attempted to avoid paying federal income taxes and that he filed a false tax return. It's a travesty to the kids. According to the indictment, Smith began working as a school police officer in 2005, and in 2016, he was promoted to detective. He was put in charge of the school police overtime unit. Court papers indicate in this role, Smith was responsible for scheduling school police overtime, including his own. The indictment alleges, from January 2019 through August 2022, Smith received overtime pay for hours he did not work. Court papers indicate while claiming to be working overtime, Smith was at home, running personal errands, socializing, coaching football, and out of state on vacation. It's very tragic to hear this news, but right is right, wrong is wrong. Court papers allege Smith falsely told his employers he was exempt from federal income tax withholding. Documents show he failed to file individual tax returns for three straight years. The indictment says he filed a false tax return in 2018. Smith has a winning record as a football coach. Twice, the Ravens gave him a high school coach of the year award. Dunbar suspended Smith from coaching for a year in 2013 because of a hazing incident. He appealed and won. Last week, the Dunbar game against Loyola was called off at halftime because of a shooting outside of the stadium. He was a good coach. He um, participated with the kids and, and concentrated on the academics. City schools issued a statement calling Smith's behavior unacceptable and erosion of public trust. They say they have overhauled the way they approve and monitor overtime. Reporting live from East Baltimore, David Collins, WBIL-TV 11 News.